Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little, and today I'm going to be going over a hand from a $10,000 buy-in online poker tournament I played quite some time ago. Um, I believe this was played on Poker Stars. As you see, we are 500 big blinds deep, which is extraordinarily deep stacked for any tournament, particularly an online tournament. Uh, they fold around to me on the button, and I open it up with the Ace-9 offsuit. I know a lot of players don't even like to play these type of hands, but I think in position you can really get away with it. Um, as long as you're just not going to give up to any further aggression. I think you do have to be willing to fight back. And against the two players in the blinds, in the small blind we have Action Jeff, who is a very aggressive online player. And also in the big blind we have a guy, Jay Camby, who is also a very aggressive online player. Um, you can end up getting in some tricky spots here. So I don't really hate opening, but you have to realize that if you get played back at, you shouldn't just be automatically ditching, ditching the hand this deep in position. So I do raise, and I raise the three big blinds to 150 at 2550, and Jay Camby elects to call on the button. We flop top pair. It comes 965, uh, or three, flop, three different suits. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Uh, he checks me, and I bet 200 into the 325 pot, and he makes it 550. And this is the type of situation where if we were a little bit more shallow stacked, like say we only had 100 big blinds, this would be a pretty gross spot. But I think this deep stack, there's nothing wrong at all with just calling and then trying your best to get to showdown. So that is what I'm going to elect to do. I do call. The turn is a three of hearts. And right now, you know, I think his range on the flop to check raise is going to be like sets, two pairs, and then a lot of hands like gut shots with backdoor draws. Like you could have something like queen, king seven of hearts or um, king eight of hearts, maybe something like that. He could also maybe have something like ace six or maybe even six seven and be sort of bluffing with it, semi-bluffing. So the turns of three, three of hearts, another two hearts on board. He bets 898. I don't really read too much into these bet sizes. I've actually been talking to some of my friends re recently and... I think one of my leaks may be that I don't really pay attention to bet sizes. I mean, I pay attention to the sizing, as in large, medium, small, or like weird sized, but I don't really pay attention to the exact numbers, and that's maybe that's a leak in my game, but I'm, I tend to estimate quite a bit when I play poker. I'm like, okay, he bet, you know, two-thirds pot. That's a two-third pot bet. It doesn't really matter that it's 898 versus 900, but against some players, that certainly does make a difference, because some players will bet like 898 when they have air, and some players will bet 898 when they have the nuts, and if you can figure out when they're doing 898 versus 900. That'll certainly be a big money maker in your arsenal. So he bets 898. I'm certainly not folding on the three of hearts turn. This is effectively a blank. Um, unless he has 7-4, which he may check raise the flop. I, I'm i still in pretty good shape here. So I like to call. Rivers the 10 of spades and he checks. And now I have to figure out if I should value bet. Um, like I said, on the flop I think he's going to be check raising with... Any set, which he would continue betting. The straight, obviously, he would continue betting. Um, he may check raise with something like queen nine that he would not bet the river. But even then, I think he may throw out a value bet there, even though I'm not too sure it'd be a good one. Um, A6, he would certainly check the river unless he plans on bluffing. So I don't know, this is a tough spot where I, I'm not too sure he's going to call any river bet if I do bet, unless he has a very strong hand like queen nine or better. So if, if that's the case, if he's only calling with queen nine or better, and I do think he could have some better hands, like maybe he has five three and decided to check raise, buff, buff the flop, and got there on the turn and then decided to not bet the river. I don't know. This is a tough spot because I think he may bet a lot of hands that have me beat and check all hands that have that are worse than me. But if that's the case, if he's only going to bet hands that are better than ace nine on the river, then that means his whole range is worse than mine. So if that's the case, I should throw out a value bet here. But I'm not too sure that's the case. A lot of players don't want to be put in really difficult spots on the river. So they will just check, go into check call mode. Uh, that being said, I do think when he checks here, he, he is going to show up with a lot of busted draws. Like like I said, maybe something like ace, seven, maybe six, seven, something like that. Um, and I, I think we're going to have a tough time finding myself beat in this hand. So I really do think a value bet is in order. And this is one of the things I've been working on a lot in my game where in the past I would just check this back and not worry about it because getting check raised on the river is a pretty big disaster. And a lot of good online players will check raise you on the river in the spot with the bluff because 
it puts me in a terrible, terrible spot. So I don't really like getting put in a terrible spots. So I don't hate checking it back against good, competent, aggressive players. But I think on average I, I would probably go for a value bet here, something like 1500 I do check it back, and he does actually have one of those hands, King Eight of Clubs. I'm a little bit surprised he bet King Eight of Clubs on the flop, seeing or check raise on the flop, seeing as there are no flush draw, no backdoor flush draws for him. Um, and I don't really hate his turn bet. I think his turn bet's perfectly fine when he turns. I'm sorry, he turns nothing. I, I still think it's a fine turn bet. If you're going to check raise the flop with there, you generally need to be willing to continue. I'm a little bit surprised, actually, that he did not fire the river. I guess he thought I had something like an overpair and just wouldn't fold it. And honestly, if he bet the river here, I would not be folding it. So that's going to be it for this hand. And I will be right back with the view of this hand from my opponent's perspective. This has been Jonathan Little for Weekly Poker Hand. Thanks for watching.